so long welcome back to my channel in the best place on earth i'm in japan and i myself can't believe it i hadn't slept because i had two long flights i flew from dubai to singapore and from singapore to here in tokyo i hadn't slept i just went straight to sleep so i, I still haven't processed it it's like earth it's best country in the world it's my favorite country people always ask me what's your favorite country there's no hesitation it's japan it always has been it always will be even i've traveled to over 120 countries and still japan nothing comes close and i'm beyond excited to be i have about 1 billion reels saved on my instagram because i have so many places i want to visit while i'm here i just loaded up my camera because i'm gonna be taking some pictures today and uh and i'm really excited to take you guys around tokyo and uh today i'll be going to osaka and kyoto and i'm gonna go to mount fuji and i'm gonna do all that stuff on this trip but today just tokyo so let's go <laughs> Guys, I'm on Takashida Street. It's quite nostalgic for me. No one's here yet because uh, it's only what time is it? 10:39. This place starts jumping around 12, 1, 2. It's quite early, and I, I kind of knew that. I didn't kind of know that. I knew that, but I wanted to come here a little bit early. Uh, yeah, and then I'm just gonna make my way like around the other side to Ara to like Arajuku where they have the uh, shops, the clothing stores. I'm already seeing some other clothing, but and we'll see what kind of street food. Ooh, look already, they have some um, rice cake. Is it? Um, cheesy <laughs> corn dogs but I don't want that right now but we'll see what happens it's too early how are people eating that <laughs> it's only 10.39 in the morning and you're eating a big cheesy corn dog people are already getting their crepes It's so early. <gasps> of course, I'm going to be buying these Kit Kats, but right now, I don't know if I should be getting them right at this moment. I'm headed to Ichi Ramen. You pick what you want outside first. Thank you. 
Got finished eating at Ichiran Ramen. Probably the most popular ramen spot in Japan because it's convenient and so delicious. Oh my goodness. I'm walking now to Shibuya. It's only about a 15 minute walk from here, so it's good and you can walk some of this ramen off.
boy. Oh boy, I'm tired. Um, I got some stuff, so I'll show you guys. I'm trying not to buy too much stuff uh, too soon, because like I said, I'll be here for four weeks. Four weeks. So like, I want to spread out my shopping so that my suitcase doesn't just become one big heavy thing. But I got my one of my favorite oils that I always get when I'm here. It's 100% tsubaki oil, which is like really good for you. Tsubaki oil is really good for your hair and your skin. I get that every time I come to Japan. And my, oh my gosh. This freaking hair mask. This hair mask turns your hair into silk. Every time I come here, I get this as well. Got my favorite Kit Kats in the world. The green tea Kit Kats. I got some of my favorite kind of hair ties. These are the only kind of hair ties I use. This sunscreen, I love this sunscreen. It's Korean, but they have it. And then from Chicago, which is a really popular vintage store here. I'm very tired. <laughs> I got this jacket type of thing. It's like, um, And so here's my new jacket. I love it. It's really heavy duty. Um, but I liked it and it's I like the color. I could sleep, but it's only 3 p.m. But the time difference obviously for me I'm like on Dubai time. Hey guys. It's dark. It's the next day, and I'm headed to Tuskegee Market. I don't really know how to say it, but I'm excited. I'm excited to show you guys. I'm headed there now. And the Scuba Express line. years old and being so confused about how to get around the metro confused the heck out of me and now I get it which I'm very proud of myself <laughs> it's the biggest city in the world so the metro is super confused. I've made it. it looks like there's like a lot of um, sashimi places here to eat fish mm, everything smells so good what's this line for so I've made it to the fish market and this is just the area where everyone's eating oh my gosh that smells so good oh wow Oh, oh wow. Okay. She got oh, some uh, caviar. Oh, I'm in heaven, you guys. I'm in heaven. Oh, strawberries. Uh, Japanese strawberries are on another level. <laughs> I've been walking around looking for this exact booth for like 20 minutes. <laughs> this one. Uh, A5, please, yeah. yeah. 
哦，是路易斯币，那边是九。要买那个？这个吗？那这个多少？好，所以 OK。等下要回去拿回来。超不容易，真的。Can't even function right now. This is where I got the beef, grilled wagyu. Beef here at the Shikigi fish market. What? It was the best beef I. I, I can't process what just happened. Do I get another one? I don't know what to do. Because I can't function. Wait, you guys don't understand. <laughs> I want to go hug that man. It was the freaking best beef I've ever had in my freaking life. <laughs> it tastes like butter almost. Like, it almost tastes like you're just eating butter. Oh my gosh, that was the best. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> Oh my gosh, insanity. Yeah, a giant octopus pancake. They just literally put octopus on like a on a frying pan, put some batter on it, and just squish it down. I'm like, why would you want that? <laughs> I'm not interested. But I'm still on cloud nine from that Wagyu beef. Like, I don't even know what to do with my life anymore. I saw this place on Instagram. These are new. I don't remember seeing this before when I was in uh, 
Corn dogs, uh, corn. You got everything you want over here. The thing is, I don't have the uh, biggest appetite at the moment. Crab, snow crab stick. Oh my. Oh my, that looks good. But like I said, I'm not crazy hungry right now. The Wagyu really satisfied me like a lot. So I'm gonna wait to eat for a minute. Oh yeah, this is the street I was looking for. I'm now at Sensoji Temple. In Osakusa, this used to be my old stomping ground. I used to come here almost every day. When I was a young lad. Tells you your fortune or something like that. Again, not doing that. There is a lot of people here. Oh, sorry. I keep seeing things that uh, I want to eat, and then I see the line, and I'm like, no, oh, thank you. And a lot of people come here and they dress up in the kimonos and I would never do that. I would just not gonna do that, no. But I think they look nice on Japanese people. I'm just so, like, I'm just so happy to be here. This is my favorite country in the world. Nothing comes close to Japan. For me, nothing. Nothing comes slightly close to how amazing this country is and how happy I am when I'm here. Strawberry season. Oh wow. I'm gonna do a little mini haul of the stuff I bought today. One of them being this bracelet. So when you're walking around Asakusa, there's all these like bracelets that are supposed to like one brings you good luck, one brings you a husband, one brings you beauty, one brings you uh, whatever you want in life. 
I don't believe in that stuff. Not my thing. I genuinely just wanted this bracelet because I really like the colors. And so I said that to the girl. I was like, is there any bracelets you have that are just bracelets? And then she's like, yeah, 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 yeah. So she gets me this bracelet. Um, and I'm like, I really like it. And oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's like marbly. When you look up close, it's like marbly red and so she puts it on top of all these crystals and then she's doing like this thing with another crystal on top of the bracelet and i was like yelling i wasn't yelling i was just like no 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 and she's like okay 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 so i just did a little prayer over it and i asked jesus to neutralize and just make it a bracelet because you know i'm christian and um that's that so i prayed over it just to neutralize everything because i don't believe in the crystals and no 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 that's no so yeah everything's good it's just a bracelet now and then i bought this notebook and i think it's like the same idea um yeah you're supposed to put like in these notes it's called a Goshwin notebook and you're supposed to put like things you want to happen in these notebooks yeah but I'm not doing all that I'm literally just gonna use it like a notebook it was just so beautiful to me like look at this there are so many different types and it's like this I'm gonna use it as a regular notebook. I already have a journal. I journal every day of my life. My journal's in my suitcase. But I'm gonna like use this as another kind of journal. I really like it because the pages are like all connected. And it's just a notebook. I also neutralized this notebook because it was from the same store. So, and then I just needed some toothpaste and a toothbrush because I ran out of toothpaste today oh and I went to 7-eleven I ran out of b12 so I got more b12 and this little candy these candies are supposed to taste like french toast and I tasted one and it really does they're so cute they're like these little french toast things super cute got some chicken I always pick this up like when I get back to the hotel it's just chicken in a bag and I got two boiled eggs they're always perfection the boiled eggs at 7-eleven here you crack them and they're perfectly soft like a little bit runny yolk and stuff the insides are so orange and they're just delicious eggs and then I got an onigiri and then I just got a green tea, little mini ice cream. It's only like 110 calories. Lots coming with Japan and I just, it's just surreal for me to be here. I'm always thinking about Japan, even when, no matter what country I'm in, I'm thinking about Japan at all times. It's nothing is better to me than Japan and it's so nostalgic for me because this is the first place I ever solo traveled. When I first traveled, I went to China, but my sister was with me in China. The first place I went to by myself was Japan. And I was young, I was 19, and I was here alone, no money. Just like the money I had, like some tips I was making when I was working in China. Um, I worked at a restaurant and I would make some tips here and there and um, I come to Japan and I was like falling in love with it was the first time I had bubble tea and matcha I tried for the first time and it just changed my life and I've been coming here ever since I even lived here at one point I stayed in Japan for six months and that was for me like I moved here for six months 
it was like I moved. It wasn't like I was traveling. It was like I'm not in Japan. Japan is my favorite country. If I haven't made that clear, it's the best country in the world. Nothing comes close. I love Japanese people. I love Japanese everything. And can we talk about that beef? Oh my gosh. That beef, there's, there's no words for it. That A5 Wagyu? Are you kidding me? Like, I don't even like beef. I can't remember the last time I've eaten beef. I only really eat chicken. Um, beef is not my thing. So this is coming from a girl who doesn't even like beef. And that beef was slammed. 